We are over here in the barn because up there in the rafters is a bunch of the old barn siding that we got off of our barn when we recited it two years ago. And we are going to use that for the bar in the basement. So James is up there. He's going to get it down for us. Hello. Some of these have nails in them. There's all the barn wood. Let's load it up. Here is all the old barn siding that we brought in. It's been in the house for two weeks now. So we are ready to turn it into some furniture and some built-ins. James is cutting all of the old barn siding. That is gonna turn into some built-in that's gonna be over here, that's gonna go underneath the movie theater. That's gonna house the speakers and our entertainment center and just all kinds of random stuff. So that's what he's working on building now. Now he's just cutting a bunch of the boards and piecing it together. He's got both his big saws in here. That's the front. It's just laid out right now. Of course, it's not attached or anything, but so far so good. Dang it, I never record the dag on progress. We were cooking dinner and eating, and this is what he got done. So James, why don't you explain to us what you've done and what everything is? I've just got kind of the shell created. I still got to build some shelves. I'm trying to use all of these uh, reclaimed barn wood, but it's getting a little tough. Yeah, well, this stuff's kind of weak, you know, a little bit. And it is oak, but uh, the outsides tear apart. So I backed this with cedar. Got a two by four here. I'm going to lay uh, an oak top. And I'm just kind of getting that stuff prepared, and I'm going to start building the shelves inside. Okay. So. You can see here where he cut all of his individual pieces for the outside, the face of the built-in. But then on the inside, is this from our farm or is this store-bought? No, this one's store-bought. But on the inside, this is a store-bought two by four. And then over here, this is off of our sawmill, some leftover cedar we had from some other projects. And same thing here and down on that end. So everything so far in this built-in has come from our farm, the old barn siding, and then the lumber from our sawmill. I'm really gonna like how this turns out. The way that this is going to be is shelves in the middle. And then these are gonna have sliding doors over them. And then these are gonna be open because that's where the speakers are gonna be. He is making lots of progress. I'm just gonna show you up close what it looks like so far. I'm really gonna like this. So now he's putting them in the shelves. You can see where all the wires are coming out of the walls from here pretty well. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's perfect. Very rustic, but when this is done, it is gonna be classy. And you're probably wondering, why aren't they continuing it to this wall? Because I wanted it to be centered with the movie screen, and the movie screen is centered with this, on this wall between there and the beam. So that is why it is exactly where it is. And this one over here, because all the boards aren't down yet, you can see how the bottom frame is how he is putting those boards in there that way. And then he's got the one up here 
and the one up here to put the boards on the second shelf. So the bottom shelf is going this direction and the top shelf is going this direction. I love it. James just turned the lights off or dimmed them, I should say. Loving the progress here. This is gonna be so nice. And I really like the wood with this color gray. Goes great. Okay, what's on the agenda for today? We're gonna build the top for the uh, built-ins. Okay. Obviously the video does not show the temperature. It's so cold outside. It's like 20 degrees. Oh Lord. Yep, so I got some oak sitting here that we cut on the mill. Uh, they're not furniture grade. You can see a little bit of um, issues here, but... Are those wormholes? I think so. Some sort of beetle holes. Yeah, but... We're going to make the best out of what we can. We might have to fill them in. Maybe flip it over. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. But this is what we're going to use. Okay. We got the three boards cut here. Now he's just planting them down. I got done planting them, put some biscuit joints in them, and now I'm gluing them together. Look at this beauty. James got it up off the ground, cut off the edges, and then sanded it down real good. Now, we just gotta stain it and put some polyurethane on it. It's beautiful looking wood. What is this, red oak? Red oak. Okay. It looks so nice. James got a coat of stain on it. Look at that beauty. It's got beautiful grain. I love oak, it's very pretty wood. And this is a stain that we used, dark walnut. This is the same color stain that we use on all the poplar on our banisters and knoll posts going up the steps in the house. I really like that color stain. James finished this up and put a coat of polyurethane on it. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm excited to get this down to the basement today and see what it looks like as the top of our built-ins. We just carried the top down and put it on. It looks so good. It was very heavy, but we did it. I love the wood grain and the color of the stain up next to the dark walls. I feel like it looks really classy. So now we still have to put doors on the built-ins and obviously clean up, but that's what it looks like so far. And the built-ins are finished. I love how these turned out. I love the natural barn wood. It just looks really good. Obviously it was a little difficult to build at times because barn wood is not straight, it's very warped, 
it has holes in it. So we had to kind of pick and choose what pieces we used, but with having limited amount of barn lumber, we did have to use some pieces that we kind of had a doctor up to make work, but it worked great. One of the things that was difficult was these sliding barn doors. I really wanted the sliding barn doors to hide stuff behind them, but because they're about an inch thick, it's too thick for this to be on the outside like it normally would be. So James notched it out and recessed that into the wood there, as you can see. But I like how it turned out. So I'll show you what's behind these. Behind these is shelves. Now, right now we have our 3D glasses in there and just some other stuff I need to put away, but I like the shelves. We can expose those if we need to and it still looks nice because I'll organize in there eventually and we'll get all of our Blu-ray movies down here. But this one also slides easily. And same thing over there. But I really like how this turned out. I feel like it's rustic, but also has a finished look to it. Just really looks nice in the basement. Thank you.